What is the crack and welcome back to another video in this video I will be showing you guys how to make a name generator of some sorts and um, I'm a little bit annoyed because I literally just created this and um, OBS didn't detect that my microphone was plugged in so I need to do it again yep make sure your crap is plugged in it was plugged in but OBS didn't recognize it for some reason so I'm gonna try speed through this a little bit faster than I did last time if you guys do enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up um, but this is what we will be making. So when I play the game, you will see um, level level appears because I've changed it. Um, when I play the game, you will see Jim Wilson. So the enemy has a random name on it. That wasn't the way I had it the first time, but still. Um, Tom Wilson. That was probably the exact same name. I can't remember. Uh, Pat Edge. Okay, so you can see it's randomly making names. So, it is very simple. This is what you need for the script. You don't need the update. You also don't need line 22. So, you can literally make it 18 lines. You could also make it, um, about 50. What did I delete there? You could also make it about 15 if you do this. Oh, you can make it 13 if you also, if you want to get rid of it where it appears over people's heads. But, um, I kind of like that little feature. So, I'm going to leave it in. So first thing you're going to want to do is create four public strings. And then at the end of two of the string part, add square brackets. I just named mine first name array. You can name them whatever you want. Then with the second ones, just leave them normal um, normal fields. So if you go to where you have the script, you'll see it's looking for names. So with a string, a string is like text, I believe. I actually really don't know the... like exact but an int is a full number a float is like a a fraction or yeah a fraction of a number a boolean is like yes no and a string is kind of like text so as you can see you can put whatever you want in it um so that's what these two are going to be and then but and the ones above it are pretty much these but these can hold instead of like see here if i go in whoop don't know what that done um, if I go in here and just do this, I can then press enter and do another one. That is, why does it keep doing whatever that is? And then um, I can make another name, press enter again, go back into it, and I make another one. So I'd have four or five different names rather than just the one data. So it's fairly handy. And then this is UI.text. Um, you need to have this in it. So using Unity Engine.UI. I'm just going to make sure I am actually recording my voice. Yes, I am. Oh, I don't want to do it as a third time. But um, uh, if you want to use this, you need to add in uh, using unityengine.ui. If you don't, this won't even come up if you, type, if you try typing it. So make sure you do that. Once you do this, name it whatever you want. I just named mine. Um, first name text, second name text. And then this is the, the fun part. The... Uh, little bit of a pain if you get one little part wrong so first name in the start function I deleted the update you don't need it um, in the first name which is here you want to make it equal to the uh, first name array which is up here and then the square bracket if you forget the square bracket I can't emphasize how much it is just to do that bracket if you do that everything will go wrong so add in that bracket and then random range uh, uh, curly bracket I almost said squirrely bracket uh, zero you have to do zero as well you might be able to do zero F but I don't know why you would need to add in extra but zero works and um, as you can see there it came up uh, whoop. came up something to do with a float or an int there I thought I saw it. yeah min and max float range so this shows how much you wanted to go as so this is the minimum and this is the maximum so the maximum is the array that we're making up here dot length so the length that it is and then you just literally copy that paste below it swap everything from or yeah swap out first name to second name and then same here and here and then you just do first name dot text which is the um, uh, unity engine dot UI text from up here put that down here and then do dot text if you don't do dot text it'll be like Actually, I'll just show you. It'll be like, what the fuck is this? So, 
it gives you a weird error. So, um, cannot imply convert type string to unity dot text. So it's fair, it's fairly, it's clearly straightforward. Like it's like hey, convert it to text. So you just do that. Then do first name dot. Uh, I almost said first name dot text again. Again, you might want to change it instead of having first name, first name text, and then first name array. So I could easily do with a little better name phrasing, but yeah. Uh, so first name dot two string two string will make it into the string because it's not at the moment and then once you do that that is it done you also will have to do like a little bit of um uh word pieces here so that should got rid of the error i didn't save it did i no i didn't because i can see my uh, usb flash and this is on my usb so sorry if it's a little bit slow but um now you want to go in here go create this is only if you actually added in the uh, um, UI, but if you did, go in here, click this, go canvas, which is here. Once you've added a new canvas, you go to go into it, add a text field by the, again clicking on it, and then go UI text. A new text field will appear. I literally just made mine um, black text because the floor is white. And I made the text 28. If you want to make it more than like 22, I believe it is, um, it won't let you. You have to go up here to width and height. I just double it from 160 and 30 to 320 and 60. So easy enough. And um, sorry if I'm talking a little bit fast. It's just it is um, 221 in the morning, nearly 222 in the morning. And I need to be up in like six hours for a wedding. And I'm making sure to give you guys a video. So and I still need to do whatever editing and shit on this as well. And maybe another one, so you don't miss uh, two days. But um, yeah, what was I doing? Once you have done making the canvas, put your script. I put it on a game manager. It was just a random object, which is in the middle of my game, which just kind of records general data. And then um, you just literally drag and drop the name on it. I named the script um, name generator. Easy enough. You can name yours whatever the hell you want. And then you can see here a little tiny arrow. You click that and you can add in as many names as you want. Actually, let me let me see what happens if I type 9. Can I control Z that? Yes, I can. Okay, let me see. Can it? I actually don't know how many. Can it do a thousand? Holy shit, I can. You can have a thousand first names and a thousand um, second names. Let me um, undo that. Let me, let me try 10,000. Yes. Okay, my computer's freezing a little bit there. So, so 10,000 first names and 10,000 second names. If you wanted, you could probably do more for computers a little bit better. But um, you go in here. I just put in Jordan, Tom, George, Sarah, Mike, Jim, and Pat. And then in the second names, Flanagan, Smith, Wilson, Edge, Pickle, 205, and no internet. There were jokes from the last video, sadly. That uh, 205 is when I recorded the last video, so uh, let's show in uh, 222 and no internet. I still have no internet because uh, yeah, I had to plug in my internet to re-plug back in my mic to return back on OBS. <sighs> Good old pain in the ass. But um, once you have specified what names you want, you then drag in the name fields. So as you can see, I've made a text which is floating up in the sky. You literally you can wiggle it. So you would then click the... Uh, where did it go? My brain has blanked out. I'm getting a little bit tired. You would drag in the name fields into it. You would also name them like... Um, uh, name one, name two, or first name, second name, or surname. Might have been actually a little bit better. But um, once you have done that, it will actually know what it is. I put mine on the enemy, which I've just remembered. So they're down here. So as you will see, uh, let me double press F. If you double press F, I believe it focuses on it. Like it will follow it forever. I don't think you'll be able to see it though from here is the problem, will you? Sarah something. What was that? Sarah Edge. Let's see if it will do anything else. Pat Flanagan. gym edge um but again it will do anything like that i also was uh, saying to you guys, how long is this video okay nearly 10 minutes um i was saying to you guys in the last video that i have i've made this 
if you guys would want to see in a video how to make like a little portal gun type thing so you can go in and out of it just easy enough um, just fixing these boxes this robot broke them but um and also I could make a second part to this if people were interested in sorry if it was a little bit unclear and if you need a, any um help let me know I am sorry I know the first video was a lot more informational infor informative is the word um I was looking for but uh it would have been a lot better if it didn't have no but uh, no uh, sound which was a pain in the ass again I'm making sure that it actually is recording me I'm afraid it's not I'm not doing this a fourth or third time but uh yeah also I can make this into a second and maybe even a third part video I was saying at the end of the last video I can make it where it'll do like hair color uh, skin color height hairstyle weight uh, like race um uh like type of st uh, clothes age stuff like that and then i can make it where it'll randomly generate a character based on how old they are how young i might do like a simplistic 2d version and then maybe a video extra on top of how to do a um a 3d version if people are interested in that let me know because it is not much extra on top of this. It's literally just like copy, paste, boom, hair, that, boom. But uh, obviously not with the with the boom and the um, tired as feck uh, <laughs> YouTube person talking to you. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. But again, like it, you can literally add any name you want in here. And it will do it. And as you saw there, 10,000. I was even surprised at that. So let me just add in uh, one more um, fish. And uh, taco. It's taco? I don't even know how to spell taco. <laughs> Tacos. Is taco with a T or a tacos? I think that's a fucking spell taco. I don't know. This is not a how to spell taco video. Am I going to get any of them? Jim Smith. You can actually see here before turning around what the air as well. Fish Wilson. <laughs> a good old Fish, win <laughs> Fish Wilson. <laughs> but uh, again, if you want that um, to actually be over your character's uh, uh, what's it called? Fucking head. All you do is on your canvas, wherever you created it, click up here and yours will be on screen space overlay. Make it world space and then press F on it. It'll zoom out and then scale it down really small and just place it like literally it'll be outside and then literally just place it on top of your character and boom that'll be it but uh hopefully i've covered everything i'm gonna have to rewatch this now because most likely i didn't but uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching the video if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends on facebook and twitter follow me on facebook and twitter and i will put a link to my game i'm currently making um, in the description or in uh, like one of the comments if you guys do want to go and follow me on Facebook you will see like models I'm putting up uh, like little game ideas maybe even sketches and uh, drawings and stuff or sketches and drawings sketches are drawings sketches and like music and stuff like that so you'll see like the whole process of me making it if you want to see that please do uh, follow me there I've this video is going on three minutes longer than the old one so somehow I've rambled longer but um yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video again, please. What was that? If you enjoyed it. it sounds like something's breaking my door. <laughs> but um, if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Come right, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video. With my uh, weird ass hair and no beard. Real fucking soon. Bye!